Well, hello guys, Verdier here. Just uh, leaving the Honda dealership. I hadn't heard from him in a while concerning the whole BCM thing. I don't think he's heard anything about the fact that my auto high beams don't work. I've moved my camera. Hopefully, I won't have any problems with the camera where it is now. I have to film it in upside down mode and flip it, but whatever. Uh, I went there because I had two main issues. I have a new issue. I'm going in to get my, uh, I get a little bit of a shaking in the car, so I have to get uh, possibly my tires balanced, and I'm getting them rotated while they're here. Also, um, a warranty issue. I have uh, the rear uh, passenger side seatbelt won't latch. So uh, glad that's happening now, so we'll take care of that. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I went in there to discuss also the fact that this stupid vent is still rattling. Excuse me. Um, and told him I don't know how many vents we're going to have to order. Uh, I really don't care how many we do, but it needs to be taken care of because I'm getting a little sick and tired of the damn vent rattling and them not being able to fix the problem. Um, so he was getting ready to get on a Zoom call, so it wasn't much discussion and so forth. Um, but he said he would get back in touch with me. I'm not holding my breath, but I hope he does. Uh, and of course, I was talking about the BCM issue for those who don't know. Um, unfortunately, I do suffer a uh, problem with my, ever since I had the body control module updated, the auto high beams don't work after about 30 minutes of driving. And then, you know, they stop working. And then I have to turn the car off and back on for the auto high beams to start working again. Uh, not that big a deal, but they broke the damn thing and I'd like it fixed. Uh, this guy has a bad aspect of not getting back in touch with me. He's friendly and all, and I'm sure he's sending the information to them. But the dealership, I mean, they're doing what they can. The problem is they, they can't verify the issue. I gave them a video, so they got that issue out to... One of their top guy, you know, one of their regional guys, he's looking into it. But he's not good about getting back in touch with me, and I don't really bother him that much. I mean, I don't want to get into a situation where I'm going to start filing complaints with the attorney general and all that kind of shit because they just won't fix the damn car. Uh, also, these are kind of penny any things, but still, they're broken, and I'm sick and tired of this vent rattling. So I am still on their ass on this, but I try, I try to handle it nice. I mean... Carrots usually work better with, than sticks, you know. Why get into a big fight over it? Uh, it was very funny about the rear uh, seatbelt not working. I mean, you know, the the, the uh, peanut gallery was riding back there, and uh, we were picking up something, and she needed to ride in the back with it. <laughs> she said, I can't buckle it, and I thought she was just being the peanut gallery because the peanut gallery is a bit of a, a dinkleberry. Uh, but, no, it won't. It won't click, so, I mean, I'm still within my 36,000-mile warranty. I'm only at, uh, gosh, what, how, what is my mileage on this car? Oh, it's showing weird information. Oh, I'm at 32,047 miles on the car. Uh, besides, I have Honda Care, so Honda Care would cover something like that anyway. Uh, I got that until, like, 120,000 miles, so, you know, just want to get all that shit taken care of. But that's pretty much where we're at uh, with that. Uh, a little bit of a shutter. I figure it's just time to rotate, uh, rotate and, and this time balance the tires as well. Uh, long overdue. The car's got 32,000 miles and, you know, the roads here suck. Uh, the whole auto brights thing isn't as big a deal because I'm not doing a long drive to work. Uh, in fact, my work is only like two miles away from where I live now. So they work perfectly fine for that time. But if I drive any long period of time, they'll stop working. I know that. So, I don't know how that's going to be handled. Um, I don't think it's going to be handled very well, to be perfectly honest, but we'll see what happens. Um, that's basically uh, where I'm at. And uh, really not much else to say. Because I'm still living the dream of the, still living the Honda dream. Ugh. I'll have other videos up uh, as well. I'm uh, freaking exhausted. Working overnight sucks, guys. Making reasonably good money. Not great money, but good enough. And that's basically it. Verdier out.